William here, who has a, looks like a Gamma Squadron, uh, two Imperial trainees. No, not even close. That's Duchess and Pierce of Bach. Uh, what do I know? Uh, oh, I had to look at the list, so you I know. Look at the yeah, list. he's right good. on. He's good. Okay, so all right. Now we're talking. Here. So uh, uh, Will is rocking uh, a Pierce of Bach with Veteran Instincts, lightweight frame, adaptive ailerons, which is going to put Sabak at uh, at an eight, uh, which is amazing because that means he's on the same time as Duchess, who's also rocking at eight with Juke, lightweight frames, and adaptive ailerons again. That's a solid setup for Duchess there. And then his scimitar is loaded out with Systems Officer, Fleets Officer, Twin Ion, and Thai Shuttle. And then Oli's got Juke Con Relay. So that's actually a solid list. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's actually really, really it's good. It's pretty good. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, who are maybe not familiar with uh, Will from the from the PTL, aka Evan, he's a phenomenal player uh, who had to take a step back from the game from a little bit because he's too busy being a daddy now. He's got he's had his first born last year, so congratulations again on that. Congratulations, buddy. Um, but it's great to see you back out again. He's a phenomenal player. I've had the pleasure of playing him quite a few times and obviously losing every single time, but that's okay. He's uh, He usually flies some really amazing scum stuff yeah uh, he's 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 quite the competent vassal player and uh, I don't know his online vassal name but you know that is what he is and then of course we've got uh, everyone's favorite phantom uh, master <laughs> Sharif yes, uh, who loves to fly janky fun stuff because he just doesn't care and that's he amazing and God bless him for it. yeah so he's he's bringing the death this is the death metal list because he's rocking death rain with plasma torps, uh, extra munitions, cluster mines, Connor net, advanced <laughs> sensors, and experimental e interface. Gotta love those 45 point punishers. Uh, then he's got death fire with extra munitions, homing missiles, cluster mines, and long range scanners. And then a gamma squad vet with crack shot, extra munitions, homing missiles, and long range scanners. Again, this is actually a really, really awesome list. I mean, it would get l probably lit up against some of the more uh, top tier stuff you see out there, but. This is really fun. This is going to be really, really cool. We got this a lot of game. really hard-hitting uh, uh, Alpha Strike type lists, and then uh, we've got lots of death going to be rained and fired. <laughs> death I'm squared. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All the death. Exactly. Death two electric boogaloo. <laughs> so this is going to be pretty amazing. So I'm really hoping we can see some bombs rain from the sky. And um, I. I adore Strikers, so I, I'm, I'm happy with no matter what's going on here because... Yeah, uh, this the, is a fun list. The Punisher is, the fa is my favorite ship that I never fly. Uh, I mean, I have two of them, and uh, but I love them to death. I can't wait for the uh, I can't wait for the fix because they're gonna be probably still awful, but I don't care. They gotta make like just a title. It's like all your munitions are free. Pick bomb or like missiles and just load them up, man. Oh, I will buy another Punisher, no problem. That, that would be a fun it. little please do that shenanigan. If, if, yeah, or they could just be like uh, Punisher title. Just fly bomber instead. It's cheaper and better. <laughs> <laughs> Punisher title. Take two bombers. <laughs> Call me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so really, um, what's uh, what's Sharif's plan of attack here? I mean, with the bombs and the missiles, he could erase, you know, Duchess or Omega Leader pretty quick <coughs> if you put the guns or the bombs on him. And that's the thing. Even though Evan's list is hella alpha strikey, you got Sabak throwing out four, you got Duchess throwing out three. Right there is already seven dice just from two of his ships, and he's got a bomb. So it looks like he's uh, gonna split them up. He's gonna use Oli to chase. Or maybe bait and harass on the flank, and then I think he's gonna bring um, the rest of his ship. So you can see he actually just moved Duchess first, electing to. Oh no, never mind. That was count. That was Sabak doing a one straight aileron to a three straight. Again, look at that halfway across the board. God, I love strikers. And uh, Duchess is coming up next. I'm assuming he's probably gonna keep them in formation yep. and um, do the one straight, three straight again. But I think if you're Sharif, I mean, I feel like you you need to use munitions to your advantage. And I yes. think I think you bomb Sabak out of the sky as fast as you can. I think so. You don't want to go after just put the guns on Omega Leader. Omega Leader, yeah, because you can harass. You can harass, but I don't know. Uh, this is an interesting question. To be honest with you, I mean, he's got a ton of munitions, and the good thing is, in theory, <coughs> if he can play his cards right, he should be able to unload a lot of those munitions because all of his. Yeah, what is he sitting ships. on? Six, twelve. Uh, what is it? It's 9 on the Punisher. So that's like, what? That's 21? 22 hull in his list? Yes. It's a, it's a chunky list. Yeah. I mean, um, but I mean, you know, Evan's got a lot of firepower on his yeah. list, and he also has a lot of hull as well. That's right. Sarif has elected to put the target locks on Omega Leader, so I guess we know who we're going to go after. 
you I mean you always can switch the lock at range three, which is nice. It's like I've tried the long range scanners, and I did like the baiting ability where you could get in there, put the locks down, and your opponent's like, "No, I'm not gonna put the ship and get shot by three missiles." And then you just get in the range three bubble, switch your locks, and your opponent's face is just like, "Oh, oh no." Yeah, and, and you shoot the target you wanted, right? That's exactly one of the strengths of the long-range scanners, the fact that it works at range 3 and further. You can exactly do that. You can you can make your opponent think that you're going to go after one ship, and then the turn before you decide to commit, you can try to take another ship, and then that's the time that you switch your target locks, and oh no, now you're alpha-striking a list that you, you know, the ship that he wasn't prepared to get alpha-striked by. It's also good to know uh, Shreve has a little bit of advantage here, because the light wire, f or the lightweight frames do absolutely nothing. Because nothing's got three red on his side of the table. That's actually true, uh, except for his munitions. So his plas it'll, it'll trigger true. on his munitions. That's true. <clears throat> but I mean, I, I do love the Scimitar Squadron uh, support ship. That's that's yeah. gonna if he can, if Evan can or will I guess we should say if he can keep it in formation with those two strikers, giving them both focuses, allowing them to target lock makes them super punchy. And you know he's gonna want to. Um, He's going to want to pull focuses from that system as he just did right there. He's going to want to pull those focuses because uh, Duchess being able to take the evade for her juke and Sabak having target lock focus for his ability is, is I mean, really unlocking the real potential behind a striker. A double action striker is super scary. Yeah. I mean, they're just very cost effective. They're not very expensive. Even with the bomber as support, the bomber moves very quick. Like, surprisingly yeah, quick. You, you, you don't keep think up. it can, but that five straight is really handy. Or four straight, I think. It's, it's a four five straight, straight, but that's a five K. Five K, yeah. Seems a little ridiculous for a ship that you would imagine to be pretty slow. Yeah. Well, I guess the whole point is that back in the, when the wave, when they first came out, you, you really needed to be able to kind of set up those secondary missile shots with and that 5k it, yeah. and still have arc on something. So yeah. the bomber is a unique and interesting ship. And again, the the Vets pack, the Taisha, the, the, the shuttle was a really cool upgrade. And it's a, I like it a lot. I, like, I love the Doom Canoe, which is Vader on board of the cheapest bomber. Yeah. Which 19 really points. It's super effective. It's scary. It's a target you got to go after, and I like knowing putting ships on the table where I know. Oh man, my opponent has to go after these ships. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sharif has a custom monogram template, so you know that they're his. In case you're curious, Sharif is also in Ontario. I, I think he's the Star Wars guy. He plays every Star Wars game. Every it is impressive way. to see him at X-wing tournaments, Imperial Assault tournaments, Destiny tournament, Armada tournaments. I don't know where this guy gets his money or time from, but <laughs> you know it's hard. Like it's hard to keep up on one game. You got to practice a lot to be one of those top tier players. And this guy's doing it in like four games. Absolutely, it's awesome. Shreve also happens to be one of the best, if potentially not the best, Echo player in Southern Ontario. He's given it. He's just really put all the chips down on that. He only plays Echo, no matter what the meta is. There's Ventress. He doesn't care. Yeah. Echo's on the table. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the system open, he's like, oh, I'm just going to take Echo and Cole Zed and, you know, stride, and that's okay. And that was a cool list, Echo, Cole Zed, and some way to get Kylo Ren to do Kylo Ren things to try to infinitely loop the blinded pilot. Yeah, my first uh, pleasurable moment ever playing Sharif was at Regionals of last year, where I also, um, I also love Echo, and she's my, she is, or was my favorite ship until uh, Countess came into my life, but, and then going up against him... And it was like, I know exactly what you're going to do, because I'm an Echo player, but you're the better Echo <laughs> player, so you're doing it anyways, and I can't stop you. He just picked me apart in the last oh, round. Echo, you're always doing that two-bank backwards hard one, just yep. looping around the table, and just, there's nothing your opponent can do about it. Just Tokyo Drift, and that's, that's all it, it is. That's it, that's all yeah. you can do. Yeah. The Miss Hunter, however, is not capable of doing such fancy maneuvers. No, we do have a barrel roll, though, on our ship. We have the tractor being equipped, yes, one point. of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth the extra cost. So yes, Evan, it is worth the extra cost. Yeah. You get a tractor beam and a barrel roll. So Evan's bringing bringing his ships back into line to keep Oli behind that wall of firepower. Looks like uh, looks like in this list that um, Evan wants to keep Oli as his uh, primary ship. Yeah, that's the end ship. That's what you want to keep towards the end, if possible. Which ship do you think uh, Evan's going to try to kill off first? What's the biggest threat? Um, I mean, the easiest ship for him to pick off has got to be Death Raid. It's it's. It's Shreve's point locker. It's where half his points are. It's also where a lot of his um, munitions and stuff is from. So that might be the great way, uh, the best way of doing it. But again, that Death Ring build is really wonky because of the experimental interface and the fact that Death Ring gets to throw um, bombs out the front. It's almost as if the, the Death Ring bombs, or sorry, uh, missiles with bombs, for lack of a better term. You get anywhere within range one, you're eating a missile. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And the thing is, you might not even think you're in range one, but with experimental interface, you can barrel roll, and then, you know, experimental interface to do a bomb, and it's, there's just a lot of really cool things you do. And the advanced sensors is also uh, really, really interesting. Means you're K-turning and shooting missiles, potentially. Yeah, absolutely. Or you're dropping a bomb, then barrel rolling, then K-turning. I mean, <laughs> like, it's it's a yeah. really expensive ship, but it's it's exorbitantly fun to fly because it's got all the options it's, available to it. It's a pretty good matchup. I mean, the the Connor Nets and the Cluster Mines are very terrifying for a four-health ship. Again, both these two, uh, I mean, Sharif is definitely honorary PTL. He's he's out he's out there in Sudbury, so it's harder for him to come down into the GTA to get, get games in, but he's PTL to his heart and soul. We've adopted yeah. him. We, yeah. He came he up with us. He was on the party bus that came up to Syracuse, and um, Evan obviously is de definitely a staple of the PTL as well. So both these guys were awesome. We we told them, hey, you've got janky stuff. They're like, yeah, we do. We're like, okay, you're going to fly it. We're going to push you on stream. And they're like, sure. So, I mean, that's, again, that's that's the whole attitude. That's the whole point of our tournament. You're like, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, you could come and you could bring, you know, there's there's a lot of phenomenally good lists in this game now. The meta is in a place where there's so much exceptionally good stuff you can fly. Um, but it's really cool to see people coming to make things that you might not see on an average night and or you would normally not see at an open or a tournament or, or a store champ or anything like that. And but still be a good list. Like, That's right. I don't yeah. think any of these lists suck by any definition. No, they're I don't think so. They're really, really cool, yeah. They're really cool and, 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 and heavy-hitting lists. So uh, we've had some... It's a great option. It's a great opportunity. You know? I feel like from a, from a player's skill standpoint, the, the PTL really makes us better players. I'm flying ships that I would never normally fly, weird combinations of things that I wouldn't normally do. And I find I'm just better and better at the game because I'm, like, forced into these terrible options for my list at the end of it after seven rounds and you know i'm not trying to use all the best guys so i'm mm -hmm. like can i make this turfener good <laughs> will it be will it be okay on the table and then after i'm finding i'm making these cool combinations of lists and i'm just a better player for being a part of the league for sure yeah absolutely i think a lot of us uh try to pick a theme at some point like two seasons ago don n he said that's it i'm flying every single name t65 and guess what he did all the way to fourth place i think or maybe yep. even one i can't remember he was i think he, he was definitely top, top eight goal. yeah top four he probably. went six and one which over is the amazing seven weeks. i was the only person who beat him and i had this really wonky like dash thing with all the, with weird debris and i like pooped debris everywhere on the table and just like hid behind it was fun yeah he uh, definitely beat me i was flying a, uh, a six swarm with uh Ion cannons and all this other jam, and, and he had porkins, and I don't even remember. It was it was brutal, but it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I tried uh, last season to only fly like Karelian rebel ships, mm. which I'm like, this will be okay. And then you're like three, four games in, I'm like, oh man, I use Ray, <laughs> <laughs> like, because the new Chewbacca work with other Karelian ships. It was fun. So, what do we think we're gonna see this turn? Okay, yeah, that makes the most sense. Three yep. straight clear stress, trigger fleet and systems. I don't think he'll be able to get the fleet officer because the uh, our target locks are out of range. Um, but he is obviously going to be able to trigger systems officer. I might have I might have gotten those two backwards. Sorry, I might do that over and over again. It's like dishwasher and washing machine. Like, <laughs> yes. You guys know what I'm trying to say. It's the same thing. Yep. Uh, and I think for sure you're going to see Duchess not aileron forward. She's just going to do a one straight. And I think you're going to see Sabak do one bank aileron hard, one left, or... Sorry, he might do... He's probably going to do one straight aileron, hard one left. Does, you think it's worth your time to just go super fast with Duchess this turn and try to get into the range one band so you don't get missiles shot at you? Uh, I'm... Potentially, but then you're getting... Then you're dead next turn from bombs. Mm. Yeah, the Joust is weird. It's a very weird game. You almost have to, like, shoot and try to, like, turn off and come around. Yeah. So the other thing to think about this, too, is that, like, as much as we, like trying to pre-call stuff, Sharif's lifts is going to be very difficult to pre-call because Death Fire's ability is allowing... Uh, she He or she can also... Um, I actually forgot off the top of my head. It's about... it's it's She can bomb out of order bases. So she can action bomb as a reveal, and I think she can reveal bomb as an action, if I'm mistaken. Sorry? I thought she bombed out of the front. We could double check that, though. No, that's Death Fire. That's Death Fire, right? No, bombs Death Rain does that. Death Fire. Death Rain, right? Again, there's so many things with death in the name, they get confusing. Here, I'll pull it up on a list. Yeah, let's do that. I actually, to my to my uh, embarrassment, haven't flown Death Fire before. I don't... But I have definitely flown Death Rain. Definitely don't fly a lot of bombs myself. It's tricky. It takes a lot of skill. It does, but it's it's so much fun when you pull it off and... 
Uh, you does it does feel rewarding when you're able to do it and bombing is one of the untapped mechanics in this game that you're starting to see it a lot more i think 3k uh, wings is pretty okay, good there we go death fire when you reveal a maneuver dial or after you perform an action you may perform a bomb upgrade oh okay, that's, that's right that's so amazing. he can he can move and then barrel roll and drop a bomb or focus and drop a bomb yeah. yes which means you can use a reveal you can use a reveal bomb after you've already done your action. That's right. So you can get into position and then drop drop a seismic charge or, yeah. or a proton bomb or anything else you have on there. Looking forward to the new Skurg will have that as well. So you can put Genius on board, which mm -hmm. is after you move, you can drop your action, uh, sorry, your uh, reveal bomb. This gives you all sorts of weird maneuvers that you wouldn't have been able to do before, like a talon roll and then poop on a dude and all yeah. sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, that'll be fun. Again, he's uh, Sharif has those guys still locked into the way Omega Leader's going. They are facing that direction. I think maybe he's just bringing his pain train to bear and be like, yo, whatever you give me, I'm going to attack. Yeah. I mean, he has a target locks on Omega Leader. He might... If he was going to switch, this would have been the turn to switch them, because now I think he's committed to Omega Leader. Yeah. But he's also in a very good position to next turn get those bombs off. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that was a nice move. I like that. It'll be a good block next turn as well. You won't be able to put any bombs down, potentially. Yeah, that, could, that actually might be the case, because the first one in front is his... Unless that's Death Rain out in front. You, yeah, no, yeah. That's not Death Rain out in Sorry, right. unless that's Death Fire out in front. No, Again, bear with us, I apologize. I can almost guarantee you I'm going to make that mistake 350 more times, because there's just so much death. death. It's hard to keep it all straight. Yeah, it uh, looks like the one in the front is the Gamma, because uh, it has the higher pot skill. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Something wrong, which is possible. No, yeah. that, that three, you're right. Yeah, we're... You're right 100% on yeah. your Sharif's list. Are you? Yeah, yeah, you got it right. Okay. Which is okay, though, because next turn he has the potential with Death Ray to do like a two-turn and barrel roll and drop a bomb. Yeah. You're actually right everywhere, because that's that's the block as well, you're right. Yeah, no, I yeah. Yeah. Those I kept track of. The yeah. bombers I lost track of off the top of the screen, so... Nah, you got it 100% right. Nice close-up of Cam's face. Yep. Ooh, that's a... Yeah, that bomber is going to feel some pain. Yeah. Especially considering it doesn't have a missile option. Because it's a... Uh, homing missile is on Omega Leader. And... Ooh, there we go. So there's two hits. Fo Evan decided whether or not he wants to take a focus token. Yeah. Long range scanners. Hmm. So he spent the focus for three, and Sharif is going to spend the focus to only take one, it looks like. The bomber is definitely a meaty ship. Yeah. You can take a couple of shots here and be okay. The initial joust, no matter what happens, Sharif is going to take some damage on one of his ships, but I think he'd rather have the damage on the Gamma. It's the cheapest, mm -hmm. um, and probably the least dangerous of all of them. Yeah, and he rolls another evade, so he's taking two more. That's half health down on his first bomber. So this is going to be interesting for next turn, if... So it's going to be interesting, because Shreve's target locks are all on Omega Leader, so that's the Gamma doing nothing, unfortunately. Oh, that was the Death Rain firing and Duchess doing nothing. And now we've got the Gamma Squad doing two on Duchess. And she's unfortunately going to eat one of those if she spends her evade token. Yep, that's two damage going through. Spend the evade just to take the one. Oh no, he didn't actually spend the evade, he held on to it. So he's taking the two, so that's Duchess down to two. And then here comes Deathfire, who's going to be able to focus for two. Duchess doesn't have an evade. That's, then, uh, that's pure spec. Then isn't, that's the buck. Yeah. That's Duchess. The square, the square the tokens, uh, the new evades. Oh, that's the new evade, evade tokens from oh, the yeah. new kit. And because she has juke, she has to have the evade. So Duchess down to one hull now, or two? Uh, Duchess looks like she is only taken two. I don't think Omega Leader is escaping next turn, unless he goes really fast. Well, uh, that's the thing I was about to say. It looks like he'll have to go four, four with his Omega Leader to try to get out of the range of that bomber. Actually, I don't even think the four would clear, because he'd have to hard two with the bomber 
the, the Gamma Squad in the front to not... Well, you know what he could do? He could cover both bases. If he goes one forward with the Gamma, he's got... If, if Omega Leader turns uh, upward with the hard hard one or hard two in, right. he can missile her there. And if he hard twos or or one banks with uh, Death Fire, then he'll he'll have kind of both sections of it, like the behind the rock covered. So mm -hmm. he could theoretically get one missile off on Omega Leader, maybe two if he guesses right. Yep, for sure. But I'm not 100% sure. It's going to be a tough one. I don't know what the crit he got on the Gamma was, though. No, we don't. Uh, damage Cockpit. Ah, damage, damage Cockpit. cockpit. That's okay. okay. That's perfectly fine. I mean, for all intents and purposes, I don't know who has... A, well, we didn't check who had initiative, did we? No, we didn't. Well, well, yeah. Well, at this point now, it doesn't matter because now Sharif's going first. Yes. With two out of so where three... Where are you going with that Gamma? How do you get that Cluster Mine off this turn? Can you get the Cluster Mine off this turn? Well, here's the thing. I think he's got Death Fire. So, and Death Fire has no... She does have, she does have a Cluster Mine. So, Death Fire, two straights... Cluster mines forward. No, she can't do that. I forgot. Because she's not the thing. <laughs> only Death Fire can do that. Sorry, only Death Rain can do that. That's right. Forgive me. Forgive me, everybody listening. This is going to be a long one. I apologize. I feel like you could probably just two turn Death Rain and drop a cluster mine, and I'm pretty sure unless he disengages with uh, Duchess, uh, pain is going to happen. That's a good point. Also, if he wants, bombers do have three banks, don't they? Uh, yes. So a three bank uh, cluster mine back out of the sim out of his out of Sharif's gamma hits yep. Duchess, um, and then I, I don't know. I think you try to get Death Rain to fire uh, so Death Fire to get the missile off on on Scimitar or on the Omega Leader. Yeah, I think Death Rain is definitely just going to probably clock in like the one stray and take the target lock. It's just a little bit tricky watching from a screen to see the exact range, but it looks like the one straight will be in range three to target lock. Uh, Don't forget that right now Sharif's got his death, rain in death fire in between two of his uh, ships. So, Oh, that's right, because the bomber got the damaged cockpit. That changes everything. Oh, okay. Yes. So I think you might see... I don't think he'll drop cluster mines unless he's crazy enough to drop uh, them on his own ship. That ship only has the missiles, right? Oh, you're right. That one doesn't have any bombs. And that's a great place to be, because I don't think unless Omega Leader does a hard one and barrels back. I yeah. think, actually, so he's elected to maybe eat the rock next turn, but he's going to get his missile off on Oli. Yeah, again, because unless Oli turns away. I don't think she... Oh, I see what you're saying. Like a okay. hard one... She hard one ship right and barrel rolls back. It's not surviving this round anyway. Mm -hmm. That bomber? Yeah, the bomber's only got a few health left anywho, so the chances of it surviving... Now, the thing is here, remember that Sabak's gotta go fast, so... The slowest Sabak can go is a three, ostensibly, because the aileron is gonna be a one, That's right. and then the base, and then another one minimum forward, so the very minimum of Evan just goes straight. He's, he's kind of right where Deathfire kind of is now he could be fancy and do a one aileron left and then hard one right mm -hmm. and that would give him that range right there on sabak or sorry on um on death rain the punisher uh and then he could just choose not to aileron with duchess and a one straight might clear uh but who knows we'll see what happens so he's just checking for systems officer or if he gets it All right, here it comes. Doing Cluster mines. Doing the two. Oh, three <coughs> bank. Oh, that's beautiful. He's that's gonna nice. He's going to clear, take focus, and then drop cluster mines. Is what I would do. Of course, you'd bomb You're your own bomber. You're going to hit your own guy, though. That's okay. Yeah, cluster mines hit both ships that are uh, No, the important thing to remember is because it's your nodule, you get to choose. That's right. So hit. if he hits both ships, he'll he, choose. He will hit Duchess. So I hope he does it. The, the problem is the center one will only hit... The center one actually only hit his might only hit his bomber. It would survive. I'd do it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. He, do it. He also has that potential to... This would be kind of weird, but roll He could guns. barrel. He can barrel roll and uh, ship left backwards and drop them, and both of those uh, strikers could possibly hit it if they went oh, straight. that would be delicious. That yeah. would be pretty cool. Yeah. They won't hit the middle one, I don't think. Um, yeah, that's but... actually true. That'd be really amazing, because he could barrel roll. He ends up his ship somewhere around that... The bright spot when the city's there on Coruscant where a ship ends up, and then he's got the cluster mines right in the middle, and then both strikers have to hit them. Sabak will guarantee hit one because he's got an aileron forward. Oh, oh there it goes. Yeah. Or he could have gone the safe route and dropped just the, just the, um, oh, no, they don't have a cluster. Sorry, a, a, a Connor net. So I hope he yeah. does it. I think he's I think that it. was a safer move. I mean, you're locked into, like, hitting that debris next. But, I mean, it's a bomber. It doesn't, it doesn't care. care. 5K through, if it, he'll just 5K turn through Yeah, just debris. 5K through it. Yes, do it. Oh, oh nice. It. This is going to be fun. Yes. 
Oh. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be an interesting match for oh. Evan. He's going to fly oh, through all this. The only benefit here now is depending on what he did with his Duchess, he can decide not to aileron. That's right. But if it's like a two straight, you're hitting that. Yeah. So unless Evan saw this coming and decides to like um, aileron left bank and then aileron and then one bank left with Sabak, Sabak's eating one of those mines. I never would have thought he would have three three heart uh, three bank. I would have thought the two turn was like just the move of choice. Oh, oh <laughs> zero fucks given. Oh man, I'm just gonna go ahead and bomb myself. I oh. love it. I love I mean, it. He's gonna open up both. Oh, oh no, Sharif, not like this. Not like this. Oh no. Ah. Uh, so that was interesting. Now if he rolls anything like Zuck is a four lump dude, those are four blanks, he's fine. But he just wasted all his bombs. Like, yeah. Why drop them at all? Yeah. Yes, I know. That's true. Uh, he might not have realized that the cluster might have gone so far back. Uh, it took, takes one. one. It takes one. That's not the worst. That's not so bad. Too bad he doesn't have Sabine. <laughs> you Sabine yourself? Classy. Uh, you, so he would have been able to Sabine Duchess. That's true. So I'm, I'm guessing where the Punisher fix will just be Sabine Bomber. That's we don't we want, want a Sabine Bomber. I mean, no more Sabine. It's the only ship she's not in. FFGs, please. Sabine everywhere. Can I fly my Sabine Sabine yet? Sabine on Sabine? Sabine jetpack with Sabine Sabine. You know, this so he's going to boost, and I think he's going to drop another bomb. Realistically, the Sabine TIE Fighter with Sabine on board would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Any, any two of Sabine's ability, uh, abilities together. So... You could be a hero and do it again, but that would only get you one nodule and wouldn't be worth the bomb drop. Uh, you could probably escape with the Connernet without hitting your own guy there. Yeah, the, but the Connernet won't hit... Oh, no, it would. It would probably yeah. hit it Pierce would hit the Duchess. Box. It would hit Duchess. That's Duchess. I think it's worth your time to Connernet here. You just have a little kill box of bombs. One point and you know where she is... One point of damage and you know where she is next turn. It's actually, yeah, I would, I would think that's not a bad option. And then you use K-turn with everyone and hit your, uh, get your take your primaries. I mean, or he could be crazy and he could counter at his own bomber because he seems to hate his bombers. <laughs> yeah, but then it goes one straight onto the rock next turn? <laughs> no, just, just saying. I mean... Well, he's flying punishers through cluster mines, so obviously he gives zero Fs. He does not care. No. I mean, it's a punisher. Look how much health it has. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's just me bombing myself. It's all good. He's just trying to, he's just, it was basically what that was, is that was mental damage he just did to Evan there. He just said to me, he just said to him, Evan, I'm so crazy, I'll bomb myself for Gonna no reason. Psychologically <laughs> exactly. mess with your opponent. It's psychological warfare. It's another one of the Empire's, uh... Or he's so good at this game that he knows what he, you know, he knows what he's doing. Exactly. He's got this. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. That's exactly it. So while they take the time to decide what's going on... Uh, maybe we can talk about some of the other fun things we have going on at the tournament yeah. today, like bounties. Bounties are pretty cool. So we have a couple of bounties and maybe a couple of secret bounties. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. So what a bounty is, we have a couple of our stellar PTL players. And if you get matched up against them and you win, you get a cool prize. So first round, our Lord and Savior was gracious enough to throw a match to allow someone to get the bounty that's applied on his head. And um, what else would that be but a, uh, but a custom Carnor Jacks or alt art card? So whenever anybody takes down Alan Fong in a match, they get a chance to win a uh, Carnor Jacks alt art card, which is kind of fun. Yeah, it's super cool. Obviously, we picked that because uh, um, Alan loves flying Carnor. He's flown it at quite a few regionals at this point now. Yeah. And uh, did not have it at his Nationals victory. That's right. He elected for the Superior Defenders. So I'm, su I'm actually surprised that uh, Shrift did an experimental interface and dropped the Connor Net 4 with Deathbrain. Maybe he didn't think he would hit. Mm. He would have probably hit Sabak, but... Ooh, I like the two Sloop there. Uh, sloop was a very mm -hmm. nice positioning. Because of that, because of that uh, Systems Officer... Uh, focus token that that allows that sloop to just you can just go for that sloop so yep. so Evan's just gonna go one four and just take get get it out of the way it's just easier and he gets forget it it's fine good thing is the Sabak will still have his ability if he takes the one damage unless he takes two that will turn his ability off so that'll be important to see which we'll see right now in this roll turning Sabak's ability off is just super huge that extra dice is dangerous yeah people don't realize you know strikers are easy to kill this that and the other but. You know, if they throw three dice, and then Sabak at range one is throwing five, so let's just see if they remember to do the roll. That's going to be another two sloop. Yeah, they didn't do the roll here, unless they're waiting until maneuver is completed. Yeah, maybe they wanted to get all that out of the way. Let's see, that makes sense. See where it's out. Uh, 
and I think I think you'll see or or oh maybe they're forgetting they roll off camera maybe they rolled off camera I don't know yeah. um, we'll, uh, see if we'll we can go check this out right now yeah Okay. Oh, okay. So, so wrong person rolled the dice, but that's still okay. Yeah, that's okay. It happened. casual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those wonderful regional clear dice that love to roll blanks. Yeah. <laughs> they look so nice, though. They are gorgeous. All right, this mess of Imperial stuff happening here. You can see Shri of those OG champion dice, those uh, regional 2014 marble, which are the most beautiful ones. You like the marble ones? Uh, I do. I do love my glitter ones, but I mean, those marble ones are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah the marble ones are super nice. Yeah. They're garbage on camera, though. Oh, yeah, you can never yeah I can't tell what was... Yeah, they're really not my favorite dice at all. Yeah. Running the stream, it's, they're, they're almost unreadable almost all the time. But the clear ones are completely readable. They are, they are today. <laughs> uh, other venues oh. where we can read the other dice better... Something, something. That's not. Done. That's not great. That's not what you want. That's There's three, three damage to the bomber, which would probably take it down. Yeah, that would be the end of that guy. There yeah. he goes. He almost shot his missiles. So he just PS killed, unfortunately. So that's a sad, sad state of affairs. And because Sabak took zero damage on that one, he's still rocking four dice. He's so. still Sabak. Yeah. Oof. And he's got a target lock. Yeah, he's got the target lock on death rain, death fire. He's gonna spend it. The result is off camera. Oh goodness. Lordy. Hot fire. Death four, fire. Oof. Oh. Hot death. That's four damage. Yowzers. Ugh. This is going downhill very quickly for Sharif. Yeah. Yeah. In the background you can hear our uh, judge yelling very loudly. Yeah. <laughs> Wants to bring us a message. So that was actually a cataclysmic turn for sure. that was that was a turn yeah um i mean you could see the the pot, those those cluster mines all would have hit the the uh, strikers if he wouldn't have flown throw them on his punisher yeah. i feel like a one forward is all he should have done i would have just punisher. done the one forward and target locked up on omega leader and you would have got the missile off yeah and also would have blocked sabak to be honest with you at that point when he dropped that clusters with that traffic jam, I would have won forward, Connor net forward on off of Death Vein and barrel out of the way, and then experimental interface for target lock. Like, there's so many options with yeah. that ship. Like, that would have been a really interesting thing to do. So then again, I mean, he might not have he might not have any practice with the list. He might have just put some stuff together and be like, "This is cool, I'll fly it." Yeah, and that's what a lot of people have been doing with their list. Not everyone's practicing. It's more fun to just show up. Whatever happens, happens. You know. Have a fun day. Yeah, exactly. Like sometimes that. we take the game a little too seriously. We're always trying to make these crazy lists and stuff. And it really detracts from just what a great game it is. It's fun. It's Star Wars. You know, have a good time. And when's the last time anybody saw a Punisher on a stream? Never. Exactly. That's why we wanted to make sure we did it. Because we all secretly love the Punisher. We didn't even really know what it did. <laughs> no, no, I, was, no I, I, didn't, I didn't know what Death Fire did. I know what Death Raiden does because I love Death Rain. I used to have a... Both death fire. I used to have a red line death rain red uh, build. Uh, it wasn't good, but it was fun. It's fun. That's all you need. Well, I mean, you've got two punishers for ninety points. It's like uh, okay. That's the dream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably way better than two phantoms for eighty-seven. Uh, no, it's actually not. I'm, the echo whisper is way better, and that's my favorite list right now. Sarcasm heavily implied. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> As robots haven't uh, really developed sarcasm perfectly yeah. yet. You know, we're learning. We're trying. Okay, so Sharif is stuck here rocking a hard place now, and if you're him, what do you do? I mean, run, try to disengage. It's tricky because Evan just placed those strikers beautifully. Well, I mean, Evan is a phenomenal flyer, as you can see. Like, look at that formation. Like, it's perf it is perfect. Yeah. And uh, that wasn't by accident. Like, that no, was on that was that was skill. I can't fly strikers like that. I would have flown them all into rocks and crashed into each other. So, I mean, that was really strong. It feels like the right. What I probably try to do is. Two turn death rain, two ship left, and try to drop a cluster. Hopefully he went straight, and then maybe just go one straight. Two turn ship left. Don't you think that's going to overlap the rock? I don't think so. It's it's tricky to tell, mm. to be honest with you, because we're no, not looking from like a wouldn't. perfect top angle. But I don't think it would. Um, and then maybe the similar sort of thing with death rain. Just do the one straight and like one one straight drop the clusters. Hit draws, something. Hit something. Like if you can wipe those guys off, we can still have a game, right? Yeah, but the thing is, Sabak hasn't been touched yet. 
No, I know, but and with him flying through two out of the four, two out of the three of those cluster mine nodules, that I know he only took one damage from it, but you never know what the dice could have shown up. But he might have, he could have taken Duchess off the board if he wouldn't have flown through his own mine. Maybe it's, maybe it's all right to drop the Connor this turn. Maybe you can get those guys on a rock next turn. Would be could be advantageous. That's actually yeah, that would be really cool. Though you mean like a one straight and then Connor net yeah. with um, Death Ring? Yeah, or maybe one straight barrel roll ship right backwards and then drop it. So then if they yeah, go yeah, fast, yeah. they'll pass you, and there's a good chance that Omega Leader might bump into you as that's well. That's actually, that's a solid, that's a solid option. I mean, it'll put you weird in a weird position for the for the subsequent turn, but, I mean, at this point, you got to take it one turn at a time sometimes, you know? you got to kill a ship, like, in the next turn, or you're in some hot water. Yeah, because Deathfire only has, I think, two hull left, so it's, yeah, it's, it's not long for this world with the two strikers. Um... Again, at this point, like, you know, it's a fun, fun casual list, but, you know, Evan's very clearly in the lead here. Yes. Um, I mean, you can't discount the mines. The mines can do crazy things. You never know. Like, I've seen them get four hits sometimes. That's true, and that's exactly Six what hits, he seven needs. Hits, you like, know? There's only one maneuver possible for Deathfire to drop the cluster mines before it explodes, and that's the hard two. And that's right. That's true. And. And the hard two might actually bump uh, Evan's uh, shuttle. So what do you think is going to happen with uh, Evan's bomber? You think he's going to just go one straight or try to turn in? K turn? Okay, K turn. He's stressed. Well, I don't know. He he might try. He does. He, have, he has twin eye on. So he might do the one bank to clear his stress and trigger a green and give something a target lock. Uh, and then he might be in range to trigger systems. You think the maybe just going like a one straight and barrel roll ship left to try to block. The bomber would be a proficient. That's a good idea too. He's probably not going to go over the rock. Like if you move, if you turn him or get him out of the way, you, the two turns coming in. You know, he's going to not try try to not hit the rock if possible. If he blocks Shreve's two turn, he's Shreve's on the rock. Yeah, and he'll probably have at least one or two strikers in like range one to finish the job. This is a very rough turn. Yeah, for sure. Now the bomber does have a three turn, if I recall. Yes, it does. It's the Punisher that does not. Right. So maybe the, th the three turn will hit the rock, I think. But yeah, it might be worth your time to get away. And then you can't drop it's your munitions. You, you probably die anyways. You probably want to drop your munitions. I think it's safe to say that Deathfire is dead this turn. <laughs> I think so as well. I mean, it's at this point. I said we love we, we we love what's going on, but I think at this point, it's safe to say this. You gotta call it ace and ace, you know. I think this game's potentially almost already over. But let's just see how much. Well, let's see how it goes. Us. You never know. I mean, I've had some some turning games. That you never so the problem imagined. is that as amazing as uh, as amazing as the imperial stuff is at bombing and missileing, they're very linear. They're not like K wings where you can bend them in in interesting places. The slam is a very powerful action. It gives you so much repositioning power. Yeah. You can really get in there, drop your bombs, go around the table, come back and do it again. Where these guys don't really have that potential. And that's and that's basically it. That's why you see you don't see too many competitive bomber lists for Imperials. Almost always whenever you see a bomber out there, it's it's always a munitions carrier because they're very good at firing yes. munitions. In fact, they're better at firing munitions than they are at... Um, oh, right, that's true because Deathfire gets to uh, drop, drop an action right. bomb when it reveals out of, out of sequence. Right. So that is actually... A, this is a very good call. We forgot about that when we were thinking about it. So this makes the most sense. So now I wonder if he K-turns through the rock. Yeah. I think the two turns yeah. still makes sense. I mean, knowing two that... Two-turn does still make sense. You're that's that's nice why Deathrain flew through the bombs last time was because he wanted to be able to drop them again. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if Deathrain went slower, he was going to come through them this turn. That makes sense. So, we'll be interested to see what it is. Where's his dial? That one. That one? You're pointing at it, bud. 5k, yep. 5k, that makes sense. I mean, the 2 made sense too, but at least he's going to give himself rock defense. I mean, if it happens that he doesn't die this turn, you can neck definitely one straight next turn. Maybe. No, on rock. You know, you think you're on the rock? Yeah. It's hard to tell the distance. That's a rock. It's too bad. You could yeah. take the target lock and uh, shoot again. Yeah. But he's probably going to die this turn anyways. Ooh, that helps. It helps, yeah. Small miracles. I mean, there's the, on the small small side of things. There's absolutely no way that uh, Sabak does not hit at least one of those nodules. Yeah, he's he's taking it. Uh, he might. He might. Oh yes, oh, yeah. I love it. Love Shreve, good job. Yeah, that's a cool. That's a oh. that's a good option. Just just litter the field cluster mines. <laughs> that's what they're meant like, for. Like you know what, guys, 
Just try to fly through this. <laughs> uh, I think Evan can now one bank Aileron with Duchess though and avoid it depending on what he's got programmed. I don't think he's gonna. No one bank Duchess. I think whichever way he goes, I think the best course is to not Aileron. Maybe depends what he clocked in as his as mover, right? Exactly. Well, a hard one with Duchess might be a god read. Yeah, if he hard one, that would be amazing. Yeah. Omega Leader did two. Where, where did she go? Oh, there it is. Right, yes, I forgot. Now, the advanced sensors really saved him here. Yes, because the advanced sensors was brilliant. That's scary. So mm -hmm. got a couple of bombs here. I love it. I love this turn. This is going to be interesting. Are the extra munitions used automatically, or...? Yes. Yes. Once you once you drop the second one, they go away. She's going in the bank. Oh, turn. Okay. Comes Duchess, so she's taken one. And I mean, again, good foresight from, from Evan. He put that in there, knowing that well, could be a potential. Could be the end of Duchess. But he, again, he, you know, so he definitely, Sharif needs two damage here to give himself, oh, he gets one only. So Duchess is still alive. From Evan. That's Sabak. That is Sabak? Yeah. Uh, no, he takes one. Victor's maybe not up on the newest FAQ. Uh, the crit does do damage on the cluster mine. Yep. It's also nice for that bomber that one less ship is potentially shooting him if that's the box then oh because the box was stressed from the sloop he's also see so brilliant one. so the hard one was brilliant because the was stressed from the sloop last right. turn didn't have to aileron the hard one was literally the best call evan could have made to make sure he only took the one that's i mean he's obviously better than i am as you can tell i don't even know what's going well, on he, you still he have may, to sleep he may have also thought that the, the mines would be dropped further down so if he was going further yeah so, just a health count on Sabak here. He's just taking the one, right? Yeah, from that last cluster. Like, he did uh, it with both. Brilliant. And that's rough. she doesn't take anything. I mean, bad positioning, but he can just hard one away from them next turn. But, again, Evan, wow. <laughs> that yeah. was a really good time. That was a really good turn to be slooped. Uh, to be uh, stressed, sorry. Yeah, it was. So, he's going to... Oh, is he dodging them all? I don't think that's... that's yeah, hard. I think... Oh, goodness. These Vassal players are too strong. Evan's positioning is astounding. Every single time I see him play, I'm always like, how did he do that? How did he do that? How did he do that? I don't even see what happened. I mean, I know what exactly what happened, but that was brilliant, right? So those two sloops was actually the best thing that could have happened for him because that actually saved him from not eating any of that. Just looking at the positioning of, of uh, Evan's ships on the table, it's... It's saddening for sure. <laughs> like, yeah. which is so perfect. So many bombs set up. Because Sharif did everything he could that turn to, to to cause some mayhem, and he only hit one. And you know what? Now, now Duchess can still hard one left next turn and still get shots on the Punisher. Can Oli's sitting pretty all the way out there. Can he hit Sabak? Is the question. I'm gonna say he's definitely out of range on Sabak. Yeah, but he does have a shot on Duchess, which, I mean, a guy can dream, right? But uh, Duchess only has two health left. I mean, it's gonna. It's range three That's obstructed. True, he can't possibly. He needs a direct hit. Crit. It's naked dice. Any, I, mean, I mean, anything can happen. Anything can dice happen. Game. Come on. Hey. That's that's what you need. Oh, here, oh, there you go. Anything can happen. Uh, anything can oh. happen. There we go. And I'm supposed to be the calculated one. <laughs> so even though Evan was brilliant in his maneuvering, you still sometimes go poof. You got a two that's dice what Shreef ship. Needed. That's what Sharif needed. Now he's got yeah. a chance. So we still have a game here. Yeah. So he's got to. He's got a one bank with that bomber, the Gamma, so Deathfire, and long range scan for a target lock on Sabak. I think that's what he's got to do. That's uh, certain nice. So we still have half hour of this match, which means we still have a game. We got lots There's of time. There's still for lots of time for him for sure. Which is also really an Evans uh, basically the moment, benefit yeah. because the fact that with with that much time, he has lots of time to take a couple turns off to reform his squad and decide how he wants to approach this. Obviously, he's got the more maneuverable ships. He'll be able to kind of circumvent that um, massive pile of cluster mines in the um, center there. Just taking a look at what points are on the ships to see how many ships does Sharif have to kill to, to be in the lead in points. It looks like he has to kill two ships. Yeah, so if he can get one more Assuming striker. that Deathfire dies at some point. Right. Well, you gotta you gotta assume Deathfire is sitting on two hull, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, world. Deathfire is probably going to die, but you never know. But you know, uh, because Evan is stressed, he's probably gonna have to go the one straight this turn with Sabak to get rid of the stress, mm -hmm. unless he wants to keep it. 
uh, because the one benefit here, I know it doesn't, doesn't make sense, you say, well, why wouldn't you want actions? He does have that shuttle that can feed actions to Sabak. Yep. Uh, he can give him a target lock and a focus every turn if he needs to, and not having that and having that stress can function as a basically a break system. He gets to keep the striker as a slow rolling ship now. Because yes. if he clears stress next turn, he's got an aileron, and that's actually in Sharif's benefit because he's got an ability to bomb in any direction with with the with that fire's ability. So, I mean, this is still you know far from like open and shut. There's a lot of st yes. strategies that's still available on the field right here. He also still has a missile. So I mean, if he can if he can clear that one turn mm -hmm. green. Yeah, that'd be a good place to be in. I'm fairly confident the green, the one turn. I think the one turn is going to clear. Yeah, so the one bank, sorry, not the one turn. Punishers don't. Yeah, one, bombers don't one, have the one, one turn. Yeah. yeah, and that would be actually they have the reverse cross, don't they? So they have uh, the two bank is green, right? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest with you. Let's let's double check that before yeah. we are we're talking dumbness. Yeah. Favorite thing to do. It's too late. Uh, so yes, that's true. The bomber only has a two bank green, which actually will go over the rock, which is unfortunate because a one bank green would have been great, which he doesn't have because it does yes. not have, does not have twin ion. It has long range scanners. So Sharif is just going to go one straight. Interesting. I guess he's hoping he he fits to clear his stress. Oh, of course. Oh, he I fits. told you he was going to fit. Yeah, yeah. I had a strong feeling. So now he's going to target lock. Oh, he, well, he has already, a target lock, so he, he can barrel roll. Already, yeah. I think Omega Leader's probably going to turn this to to ship right. Yeah. I think that makes the most sense. Well, that was a snazzy move. Yeah. Again, it's pretty tricky for those who haven't done this before to like actually gauge the distances. Yeah, There's because... a little bit of an angle. A little bit of an angle for the thing, so I wasn't sure, but as soon as he put the template down, I was like, oh yeah, of course it fits, so... Um, it's not that we're scrubs, it's just that we're, you know... We're scrubs. Sometimes, yeah, that's just... That's why we elected to be on stream. You know that's it. True. Those who can do play, those who can't commentate. <laughs> Complain about other people's playing. Exactly. <laughs> so it was, it was a good little move here. He, uh, he opted advanced for the advanced boost. sensors for the boost to turn a little straighter, which is nice, And he sure. also got max range, and he's able to have the entire field open yeah. for himself. Now he can come back in. So yeah. Evan did go ship left, which makes more sense. Yes. No need for him to go where the logical progression of Sharif's list is going to go. But that said, now Death Fire knows exactly where. Death Rain now knows where. One of the Death Squares. Yeah. It'd be far easier for us to commentate once one of Sharif's ship dies, so we could just call them Death. Yes, exactly. We'll, we'll just, just call them Death. The remaining Death ship. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just go the Punisher or the Bomber. <laughs> we should just, I think we're just going to start saying that now. That's all I've been saying. There's no more death names. No. And no more ships that have S in the end of the name. No more Countess, Duchess. I'm getting confused. Ventress, Countess, Duchess. I'm so confused. Yeah. Try flying a list with Ventress, sorry, with Countess and Duchess in it. I've played against it, and I had a Ventress in my list, and I'm not <laughs> even making this up. A, and every time I said something, I named the wrong person, even my own ship. Yeah. Like, I'm moving Duchess, he's like, no, you have Ventress. And I'm like, that's what I mean. You, <laughs> know. you know what I mean. I can't move your ships. <laughs> All right, so here it. comes Ooh, the primary. Sharif's dice have woken Whoa. up, and Evans have gone to sleep. So he is no longer Pierce Sabah. He is now just dude he's just, in a striker. He has eight dude. He's just a very expensive dude. Oh, no more really, Sabak for you, my friend. I mean, at the end of the day, 25 points. That's, that is an it's a very efficient ship. It's an economical use of 25 like, points. Like, looking at the four ships that he has, we have a 25-point ship, a 27-point ship, a 26-point ship, and, like, a friend who gives actions to those ships. Yeah. It's it's a good list. Imperial 4 ship was always one of my favorite things. Which is strange, because you don't often see it that often, because the propensity is just to always run three really, really high-quality aces when you're running Imperials, right? Like, if we always say, like... Some people say, like, one of our Devin, one of the guys who's basically organizing the PCL, and now he's now he's our new big boss of the PCL. The big boss, yep. Uh, he likes to say this thing, Imperials don't have good ships, they have good pilots. Yes. But I, I mean, I think you can make an argument that they have both, because I think the Strikers are a very good ship. Yeah. Well, I think his idea is, like, imagine some of these abilities on, like, Rebel ships. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the, so I get where he's coming from. Imperials have phenomenal pilots. All of their yes. abilities are ridiculously strong. And the little support ship at 22 points is very efficient. Like, having guys like Duchess and Sabak are just, just very good ships and they kind of want to have pushed the limit. Like, when I saw Sabak, I was like, yeah, his ability is pretty good, but how many points are you going to sink in to be able to have, like, a target lock and mm -hmm. a focus? Like, are you going to take Predator and make this thing, like, 28 points? So here's my suggest here's my prediction. I think Will is going to, or Evan, is going to go one straight with that bomber, clear stress, yep. focus target lock Sabak, Sabak's going to do a sloop. Or a K turn. Yeah, I think Sabak's probably going to do the sloop. A sloop to like ship left. Uh, ship right is what I would do. 
Okay, that makes more sense, yeah. I mean, I could be wrong, as you can see I am, because now he's going to... No, he can still aileron forward one. But I think Sharif is probably going to... Oh, no, he's just going to say, hey, I have a bomber, I can do cool things. Oh, no, he did. He gave he gave Sabak focus right a lot. You think Sharif's going to go for the one bank here? Mm, yep. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's an interesting spot to be in. If you're worried about the sloop, a barrel roll would block it, for sure. But I also think there's a good chance that if he sloops ship right, that he might not have a shot. Uh, no, I mean, the striker right. Right. One straight right. sloop is there. Oh, the one straight. I always or he could, or he, he one bank, one straight. Or he probably just gonna do a two k turn. Or he could one sloop and then two k. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh, so I think it's a two k. Yeah, be my guess is that it'll be a two k. Yeah. I'm surprised hey. Sharif didn't go for the barrel roll. Barrel roll doesn't block though. I was thinking if you go back, you might get out of arc. Oh, yeah? No, I think he would have had a range 1. It would be really close, has. though. Well, I think it's a range 1 regardless. Yeah. So another another very nice turn from yeah. him. All right, coming in. Yeah. Would he have had to take the one forward? If, 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 he, if he barrel rolled, he just could K-turn. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happens. The, the one forward would have, or the one bank would have bumped. So the aileron, how the aileron works, if anybody's curious, uh, it's been ruled now and cleaned up now that uh, you do not lose your action if you bump on the aileron. So you can do your aileron and bump a ship. And then as long as you don't overlap an obstacle after you've completed that maneuver, you do still get your action. Uh, and again, that's your movement template after you've done the aileron has to abide by all the normal regulations of the rules. But your aileron can go over that's right. anything. You can So you can aileron over a rock yep. and then two sloop around it and you'd still get tech, or somehow you'd still have action sort of thing. Two bank, whatever. Yeah, two yeah, bank, yeah. whatever exactly. it is. You can do that. You just can't, um, you can, which is really great because I think Otherwise, it kind of limits what the striker can do. So yeah, it would be very easy to bump, knowing that it has to do a one bank or straight every turn. Yeah. yeah. So I think we're going to say bye-bye to one of the deaths. <laughs> Probably fire. No more fire. I think death fire is going to explode in a ball of fire this round, because the block looks like he's in range one again. Yep. Focus target lock, four dice. That's that's most assuredly a dead... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Unless the dice are really not on his side. Mm. No, nope, they're on his side. Look like that. Oh, off camera. Doesn't even matter. He dead. He he, he super dead. Well, he's got three health. Oh, he uber dead. He had three health, right? Two health. He had two, two health. health. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Focus four hit. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. Pick your ships up. Bye. Three through. Crit. Kapow. All right, there he goes. Kapow. It's okay. It's still punish your left. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. It looks like he's in fine. a bad spot, but with the time still being everything's relatively fine. Okay, you can go. In their next turn, kill Sabak. I mean, the thing to remember is Death Rain has two Plasma Torps. That's right. And one of those would potentially kill Sabak, and the next one would severely damage the bomber. That's right. In fact, he could probably ignore the bomber. If he can get Sabak off the field and find a way to turn around on Oli, it's very far from being over, because <clears> the <throat> Death Rain is in a position to potentially merc Oli. The bomber is uh, still kind of squishy versus missiles. Mm -hmm. so you might even just ignore Omega Leader. Like, if you kill... If you Sabak get Sabak off, yeah, you definitely and you just... get the bomber off, you win by, like, a huge amount of points. Because yes. I think the, the Punisher's, like, 40-something points, right? 45. 45 points. Yeah. So, it's still a very doable thing. Actually, if if he can kill Sabak, he's actually got points advantage, I believe. No, he'll be down no, two he's, points. No, he's down three points. Okay, so he's got to get... He's got to get two. He's got to get two. So he's got to get the he's bomber and he's got to get Sabak. Which, again, is actually still doable in the 20-ish minutes we still have it's left. It's very doable. Yeah. We still have two missiles left, and I believe he still has a cluster mine. He has mine one cluster mine. And one yeah. counter net. Yeah, two counter nets. He hasn't dropped any of them yet. Right. So you have enough munitions. You can make this work. Yeah, and you've got munitions going forward and back. So if he lines up, he can counter net somebody forward, know exactly we're going to be cluster mine yep. them again the next turn. Like, There's still a lot of options. I mean, I'm actually really... I really like that death rain build. I mean, I know it's expensive, and you're like, 45 points on a, on a Punisher, what's wrong with you? But it's, you know, it's, it's like Swiss Army Miranda, only not as good because it doesn't have a <laughs> Only not as good. Yeah. For like the same amount of points. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> only not nearly as good because it doesn't have Slam, doesn't have TLT. Or Sabine. Or Regen, or Sabine. Okay, so yeah, right. Right. That's why no one flies Punishers, I forgot. Only at the PTL Open. Exactly. <laughs> We should have a we should have a bounty on Punishers. Actually, that something we should talk about a little preview for next uh, yes. next season for for a season. We've got 
uh, we do league points basically where uh, one game playing a game any game gets two points uh, winning that game gets two more points and then we've got bonus conditions that you can do to get yourself additional league points again about that um, create a flying anytime you fly um, Kirax a Kirax fighter you get, you get a free bonus point uh, if you fly a Punisher you get a free bonus point right. if you fly any E-Wing that isn't Corrin Horn uh, which I didn't know there were any other than that. Uh, Are you sure? I think I think they might have E-wings that don't have Cornhorn in them. I'm not sure. There must be a generic. A preference is probably pretty good. I think he, that's just Cornhorn in disguise. I don't know. I've only ever seen Cornhorn in E-wings. They're so. cheaper Cornhorns. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. He just turns the ability the dream. off. Exactly. The dream. Um, so basically, we're trying to foster some unpaid. And those are actually going to be uh, league prizes because we do painted ships every season. And those are the ships that we're painting. That's right. Uh, and we also obviously give bonus points if you do randoms, because we love our randoms. We love our randoms. The randoms are fun. So what it is, we have a little thing on the internet. You post all the, you type in all of the ships that you have. Mm -hmm. It actually saves it, which is super nice as well, as you don't have to do it every time. Mm -hmm. And then you hit generate, and it generates you some sort of a list. Oh, interesting. And, so she oh. has decided to say, okay, I'm coming for you, Omega Leader. So if folks are interested in learning more about uh, the PTL or maybe even playing in one of the leagues, mm -hmm. what should they do? They should definitely head over to Facebook and search for Toronto Pro Prototype Toronto League. Um, search for PTL. You should be able to find us. Uh, basically, just decide that you want to, if you're in the Toronto area at all and you can make events in any Toronto area, join the Facebook page and yep. that's it. And you're now part of the we, PTL. Uh, that's all you have to do. We have casual nights at a couple different stores. Yeah, so we, we do uh, face to face yeah, games in Toronto. Yeah. Face to face games in Toronto we on do a Tuesday. Wednesday nights at 401 games. Yeah, and I think X Planet also on Wednesday. Uh, X Planet? They do, uh, they do have a casual night. It's generally not uh, populated with PTLers. Right. Uh, we do Friday nights at, at Dueling, Dueling, Grounds. Dueling Grounds. And then hopefully whatever uh, the new Dueling Grounds And whichever the, they're changing names or changing owners. Um, <coughs> yeah, so there's no cost or anything to join. There's no real requirements skill level or anything like that you just show up with a list and you can pre-plan your games if you want you don't have to if you don't want to and show up and have some fun with us absolutely yeah and when does the next season start uh we're starting actually next week just after we yep. finish the open we're going to start first season in may and of course any of you else out there that if you're you, know, you got your own metas and you're like oh you know what i like the way you guys you know foster creativity in your list building and community and you like that idea I mean, feel free to take the PTL rules and make them your own. I mean, we've yeah, done absolutely. that. The Bytown the Bi Smugglers out in Ottawa started their own league. They've yep. modified it to what suits their meta and their play style. And, you know, just take the rules and make your own league and have fun. There's lots of really awesome leagues out there. So Oli doing what Oli does, missing. Yep. Uh, and she's going to eat a plasma torque for sure. Yeah, it's and time. And hey, advanced sensors means he's going to barrel roll too straight and drop a cluster mine or Conan on an next turn. He could. Treef, that was a brilliant move. Yeah, back on the league, we do, as we said, we do seven games in seven weeks, mm -hmm. but you don't have to do one game a week. You can do a maximum of three games per week. So you can really start at any time if you want. There's no disadvantage in not finishing, mm -hmm. but um, you get prizes for, for uh, participating four games. Yeah, so if, if you do four games, you get a participation prize, and if you do seven, you're entered in for our uh, end, of, end of league raffles. Yeah, and again, we have players of all different skill levels. There's always people joining up that are new. They just say, oh, we're new, like, I love to play a game. And yeah. Even guys like me, I've been playing since like Wave Four. I'm happy to make like some janky list, like what we're watching right now, and have a fun game. That's exactly it. Want to have a good time. I you know? try to fly Punisher. Yeah. I mean, I've got an Eden Vril list. I'm gonna try to find a way to make him work. It's possible. Four dice Eden Vril for the dream. You can do it. It's <sighs> Eden Vril. He's yeah. a fun ship. Yeah. And if you're interested, on the YouTube channel, you can check out uh, quarterfinal, semifinal, That's right. and final matches uh, from the last from the season last season. League. And there's so some if you're really awesome. About what, the, what some of those lists look and what some of the kind of the, the top tier player coming into the league. Yeah, it's really awesome because our list building uh, rules kind of go into finals. So if you kind of used all of your best ships to get yourself to the finals, you don't get access to them for the right. next round. So like our last final that we just had, we uh, Alan Fung, Lord and Savior, the first time repeat Race champion, um, he actually just took season seven over Graham, another phenomenal player with... Uh, Spoilers. It's already up. <laughs> I watched it two days ago. I know oh, it's up. I don't know if they watched oh, it. That's true. Sorry. No worries. We ruined it for you guys. Uh, well, it's okay. We'll just go back in time. I'll push the jump, hyper right. jump. I'll push ludicrous speed button. Edit this out. It'll be fun. <laughs> so, jumping back to the match real quickly. Unfortunately, uh, Sharif did not get any damage out of his first up plasma yes. torp, which kind of sucks. He was target locked, so it was a little bit of a gamble taking the shot. But at this point, we're running lower on time. It's probably worth your time to take the shot. Hopefully, you get a damage or two through. And then next turn, hit him with the cluster. And we're assuming that the, he's going to barrel roll and do probably well, the three actual, straight. Well, the thing is, I got a question, a crazy rules question. I'm not 100% sure on If he advanced sensors yes. for one action, yep. you have to skip your turn. So he can. So he would, he would not be able to bomb forward. 
because of where he is. So he's going to have to... Uh, yes, that's right. He can right. advance sensors for a bearer roll. That's right. Maybe experimental interface for a boost, and then try to clear, but then he can't drop a bomb. No, but it, it's probably safe with a bearer roll that he can make a three straight, and then just, just drop out the back like normally. Oh, I see what you're saying. But that's the thing, is he wouldn't be able to do it if he advanced sensors for the bearer roll. Because advanced sensors means you skip your you skip your actions after that. Right. So that was a... He, that was kind of not not necessarily mm. hail mary, but it was, you know, he kind of went all in on that. Unless he advanced sensors to barrel roll to his ship right, and kind of get away. He has advanced sensory for oh oh, this, this going on. oh he's brilliant. He's gonna use a Connor cluster mine and then use death raid's ability to barrel roll after doing it, and then do his maneuver. That's what he's probably doing. Now is he dropping a Connor net or is he dropping a cluster mine? You probably gotta go for the cluster mines because I don't think. But the thing is, One unless, hit. unless he does a, if he did a bank right, yeah, he's counter netting. Oh, I think he was hoping it would hit. No, he's feeling okay there. We're gonna straighten that out a bit. Yeah, I think no matter what Evan does, except unless it's hard, hard one to the right misses, right, he might so, miss. Oh. so far, Evan's shown that he's literally brilliant. Oh, okay, I like it. So, in case everybody does understand what's going on, the order of operations of what Sharif just did there for some of the newer players is experimental interface. And uh, advanced sensors triggered to allow him to do the things he just did. So, uh, what experimental, sorry, what advanced sensors is, is you can basically, you can do an action before you do your maneuver, which kind of, break, okay, Evan's literally a god. Like, I don't understand this guy. How does he always know? This guy's clearly seen bombs before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so I'll go back to explaining all the brilliant maneuvers that Sharif's trying to pull off, and Evan's just like, nope, no, I'm just going to. It's not actually gonna, this cash one turn. I'm just going to read your mind, it's fine. Um, so what uh, advanced sensors does is it, gives, it allows you to do your action before you would take a maneuver. Then on top of that, experimental interface is like a PTL, but it allows you to take actions off of a uh, upgrade cards. So normally PTL only lets you take actions that are on your action bar, That's right. whereas experimental interface lets you basically do what, uh, what Shreve have have did there. An upgrade card with the action which, uh, action header on it. conveniently uh, enough, is what bombs, bombs are. And That's unfortunately right. his range one shot with the Punisher did no damage. So that's a heartbreaker. Uh, the good thing is, he does still have one Connor net left, so hopefully he just goes two straight and Connor nets Omega Leader forcing her, in, forcing her into a one straight next turn. He also has the positioning to probably do like a two or three bank with Death Rain. Or he could just go turn to lock up and shoot the missile on the spot. He could just two forward. Uh, yep, we could shoot the missile. Drop the cluster mine on yes. Omega Leader and hit her with two out of the three nodules. That's a possibility and then, as well. And then uh, experimental interface. Sorry, she had the target lock and then experimental interface for the target for the... I don't think Evan could escape the bomb this hit. If Shreve wants to bomb him, he's, it's happening. he's bombing him. Yeah. Just two straight, drop the bomb, right? Yeah. But, I mean, the fact that he avoided the one last turn was already pretty huge. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. I mean, again, hats off to Sharif. He's, he's putting in mad work with this Punisher, and he's doing everything he can to keep himself in there and that's just a testament too to his like quality of player like it, it looked really grim for him after the first round of shooting <laughs> yeah, and he's rough. he's just tooth and nail he's not going down without a fight and that's awesome this is a match okay so the question is yeah can death rain do a one bank shipwright and clear it and not hit that connor net yes so if he does that he could probably uh barrel roll and then drop all three and hit him with all three of the cluster mines Okay. See what I'm saying? So you're thinking one bank right. Yep. Then Put barrel in. roll back, and then uh, barrel roll. I, yeah, like you probably go. And then experimental. In, sorry, and then experimental interface. And for, drop the bomb. You should be able to hit him with all three. Yes. You could do that. That's actually a good call. Assuming all those little things can fit in there like that, like assuming the one bank fits in there, because if it's, it's a Connor mine or Connor net, he doesn't get an action. No, right? he's fine from the Connor net. He's right. clean. The one bank clears it, and then he barrel rolls back. He doesn't hit him <laughs> with the third nodule then. You don't think so? What happens no. if you go forward? Because that's there, barrel back right. there, he hits two out of three. forward, though, wouldn't you? Because you have a little bit of space, because the bomb drops at range one, or the little one template, right? It'd be close. This is breaking my K-wing brain right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. You don't get these fancy barrel rolls? No. You just swoop in. When? Yeah. And here comes the support shuttle, coming in to harry his flank. I, at this point, I'm just going to leave it up to Sharif and see what he figures out because yeah. my brain just broke trying to figure it out. There's a out. lot of different little options you can do here. Yeah, there's a microcosm. You could do a two bank. Yeah. Um. Oh, he could just do that. Or he could just go, yeah, he could just use his ability he, and he, drop bombs. He could just be like, hey guys, instead of talking, why don't I just use my ability? Oh yeah, that's right. 
So he's going to hit think, him with two of them. I think that hits with all three. You think so? Maybe. Uh, no, they should no get the, They should get the Mega Leader out of there. Marker. No, there's no way the third one hits. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're right. He's two out of three. Two out of three, not bad. So, I mean, maybe flying a bit too casual. Just get it out of there. Look at us trying to bank the barrel roll and experimental I mean, interface. Or, or just use her ability. Ooh, Ooh, two damage. Two damage, not bad. That's not nice. Bad. That's respectable. Nice. Thank you, Evan. Appreciate that. Uh, and now is he going to use his optional barrel roll to not hit his own mind? Yes, of course he is. Yeah, he's, he's like, I don't care a, about them too much. That was a one-time trick, guys. So this could be okay because if Evan bumps, next turn he just does the cash one straight and drops bomb. Yeah. Right. So if Shreve... Because we did a two bank, it looks like. Yeah. One bank. Oh. Almost. That was almost a godlike move. It was still a great maneuver. Yes. Because he gets around his own bombs and all that other stuff. Um, if he had blocked his Omega Leader, as you said. Yeah, that would have been huge. Then it would have been like guaranteed Connor net off the board, potentially. Yeah. So that. Still. 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 Still pretty great. Oh, nope. Turn. Yeah. Now it's going to be really tricky for Sharif to get back there, killing that Omega Leader now. Yeah, I you know, and that's the problem, is that he's he's doing the best he can with the opportunities he's given. Uh, I mean, Evan calling that Connor net earlier, sorry, Evan calling that earlier on with the hard one was just, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, And also Sharif getting no damage out of his Plasma Torp. If he could have even gotten Shield, that would have been a one hole Omega Leader, and that might have been a different story. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, but it's, you're it's rolling four dice naked, so it's... Exactly. The one problem with having long-range scanners is you... Sorry, the um, experimental interface is you lose the option of having... No, the, um, the guided ships wouldn't have done anything. The Omega Leader has the target lock. Oh, that's true, yeah. So you won't right. be able, you're not modifying the dice no matter what your options that's are. That's true. Yeah, Omega Leader is definitely a laughing at... She is definitely a pain. She laughs at your torpedoes. Yes. All right. He's not on the, is he? Oh my god, look at that. These Vassal players! Fly casual. Yeah. And you know what? His one bank aileron clears it next turn two. It certainly does. Or his one straight aileron clears it and then he can hard one. Evan, stop. Stop making all this look better the way you fly. Stab. <laughs> stab. Stab. You gotta stab. Alright. All right, checking the range five. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. So that's definitely in range seven. What is this, attack wing? So he's checking right now. Evans is checking to see if we have obstruction, which I think they're ruling. We'll see what the dice he throws. Ooh, focus. No, he's not. I think uh, Sharif has a shot. He does have a shot. So, so yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. That's smart. And two of eight. Like two of eight. Nice. Dice are gonna say. Blair. How do these things blow up? Uh, nah, man. We're gonna go back to wave four, where things, or wave three, where things didn't blow up at all. I got one damage that round. That was amazing. Yeah, those were the days. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, spicy sure right there. They're definitely on his side. All right, and taking that's the focus. Why that's you why save I... the focus, kids? That's it. Yeah. Save your money. Yeah. Now you just need a tractor beam to put him on those bombs. Oh. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Five minutes. Five, Five minutes. minutes. So I don't know what what can Sharif do to to Not kind of eat, eat this out at this point. I mean, he needs something. He needs a little bit of luck. He needs to get in there. Kill Sabak. I mean, he can just two bank and then four would drop a Connor net on Sabak. Kill Sabak. And then barrel into his own cluster lines. <laughs> it's tough, right? It's tough. He needs to get in there, kill Sabak, and then hopefully the next turn turn around and shoot Omega Leader and kill her. He can There's no reason for Omega Leader to come back. Exactly. Hey, that's the thing, though. Omega Leader's not going to come back that's unless exactly Evan's it. flying cash. That's exactly like, it. Like, you usually play those games where you're like, I'm going to win by a lot, and then you get your guy in there, you know? So there's the flying casual, and then, like, this is still a tournament. Yes. You're not. Yes, they're casually trying to kill each other with really yeah. interesting lists, basically. That's right. Yeah, so we still want to win. So definitely Evan would not risk flying his Omega Leader Get that anywhere MLB. near this fight. Why, well, why wouldn't you? Like, at, at this point, why no. would you put an Omega Leader There's no at, reason at risk? To. The shuttle can come in and finish off the Punisher no. on its own. Realistically, target lock, evade, and he'll probably have a focus. You're that, never doing damage. That death rain is never doing damage. No. So... So what Shreve could do if he wanted to be spicy, probably just do a one bank... Spice. And he could he could throw out uh, his last Connor net forward and then barrel ship uh, left. I don't think with a one bank it's, it's enough. I don't. I think he's at range. Well, he's gonna force. Uh, well, the thing is, you're true because he's Sabak is going to have to aileron la, his ship left with a one bank, unless because the one straight won't clear. It'll go over the it'll go over the thing. 
It's going to be interesting either way. Sharif doesn't have a lot of options right now. As we said that last time, he did something we never saw coming. So let's, let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> Who watch knows? the surprises again. The thing is, he is out of clusters. He's yeah. got one Torp left, but no lock where he needs it. So the only offensive thing he can use right now is his last cluster mine. So his last uh, Connor net. Yeah, uh, the Connor net isn't the biggest damage sink either. Doesn't he have an extra and everything? Uh, he used one there and one there. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, his two. Extra oh. gives you oh, one right, extra. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, he has two right. of each of those things. And still one more plasma torpedo. Yeah, just one do a whole yeah, lot either. One plasma. Well, I mean, and depending on where, how far away they are from each other, the one bank you could still target lock experimental interface. And, well, you can't focus, can you? Well, aren't I just a swimmer? No, he's just going to give him focus target lock again. So actually, if he's doing that, if he's going to, he's going to give. That was an agreement maneuver, so he can't target lock. Evan might just. Legitimately, I can't wait for them to make a uh, a mod. Oh, he's gonna boost. Okay, yeah. Come for the block. Yeah. Maybe he'll land on a rock. Yeah, that's not a bad choice. Then you can bomb him next turn. Yep. You can go that one straight next turn. Drop the corner net barrel roll. Yeah. Uh, he could push. Well, he he can't experimental interface for a try to lock now though. Unfortunately. Well, will he double? Hit the rock if he goes one straight, hits the rock with ailerons, and then reveals like a one straight and lands on the rock again. I think so. Uh, that is a noodle scratcher, and I would confer that to a judge because I'm not actually sure. Because if because it is a maneuver, yeah. so like normally, if you're on a rock and you are to reveal your dial and not move, you still hit the rock. Again. Well, I think though the wording would say though at that point his template wouldn't overlap the rock because but if he's you're bumping. on a rock already and you bump a guy and you were to reveal your dials again the next turn and you don't move you still have to roll for the rock again that is an interesting question and i am actually looking forward to well i mean i don't want anything bad to happen to evan's list but i'm actually hoping that's what happens because what's what's he do oh he's dropping something else forward what's happening so many bombs i think shreef says yolo let's do it you can't go you anywhere. Only YOLO once, YOLO. You, basically, so goal. now the one bank hits the Connor, and if yeah. he doesn't clear, hits the rock, and maybe he could die here. Maybe. I think Sharif has just said, you know what? I don't care. I'm not dying with munitions on my ship, so come at me, bro. And I love it. And there Evan gets to choose where he's he going. So he's going to go the run. opposite way, because yep. he's a G. Well, you know, there he goes. So he is, so is going to sit on the rock, okay. but see, the thing is, his template, I don't, I don't he's know. He's going to have to do it. To, he is going to have to take it. He is? Boom. He's executed a maneuver now, and he would. Yep. Oh, he's gonna have to for the rock. Okay, oh. He takes the damage. So if it, so he's putting two K maybe. Uh, or he didn't anticipate that. Yeah. Two sloop. This guy. So Leave him alone. Kevin, so Evan's kind of good. Did we establish that yet? The worst part of this now is that next turn, as soon as there's more turn, Sharif has to go one straight, hit, I his, know. Own, hit I know. his own Connor. Because he can't Connor experiment. He, he, oh, no, can he experiment? Yeah, he can experiment. Get, so. get Connor. There is no next round. No, we're out of time. Or you'd have to advance sensors over the rock. So that is a glorious board state. If anybody can just... <laughs> can we just take a step back to appreciate just how much carnage and unspent munitions are on this field right now? We've got... The guy just can't hit anything. We, Forget the dice. We've got the remnants of three sets of cluster mines that have yet to go off. And then... Oh, I don't think... And then we've got two Connor mess. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, all right. Death Rain just took two more, two more damage. Let me hit three. Oh, you took three damage? I mean, at this point, it's kind of like, let's all just, let's just beat up on this poor defense's punching bag. It's just, <laughs> it's just really unfair. Leave him alone. I know. I like how Evan's leaving all the dice out there. Just, oh, just add insult to injury. Yeah. Oh, he's evading, though. Oh, she's dice. I'm not, getting, not letting him fail. So we're in the hall on poor death ring now. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh... Hope you weren't expecting to see. Yeah, okay, here we go. You know what? Though it's actually pretty close because it's twenty-seven to. Uh, I mean, he still has forty-five points on the field. He's got seventy-three points left. Yeah, I mean that's only one ship's difference.